And the reality is you're just basically saying, I'm too much of a bitch of a man, and I'm going to fucking bitch out of my country. Hey, what up? This is your boy, the Solo Traveler ORD, and thanks again for checking out another one of my videos. Of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell while you are here. Back with another video review. This time we have another dating coach actually talking about Passport Bros. So I guess that he must have got wind about how the Passport Bro operate. And this one dating coach, he actually voiced his opinion about what he felt or how he felt about the Passport Bros. Blue Book Gentlemen or Passport Kings. <clears throat> so I always find it kind of interesting. It's funny that a lot of these dating coaches, they have something against passport bro the whole idea of men going to other countries to go search for women to go search for a wife to go date and so forth and the reason being that they have an issue is because it takes money out of their pockets they don't like that so they always have a lot to say about whenever a man decides to choose different options so let's go ahead and take a look at the video but before we go ahead and jump into it, I do want to say that I actually altered the video a little bit. <clears throat> I added a few clips in that video because a lot of stuff he said, and I wanted to show how, you know, he may say this, how you should act, but then look at what these women are doing. And this is what he want us to deal with, which I find to be very hilarious that, you know, he tells men to get their life in order, to pump up, you know, uh, uh, not only from, from lifting weights, you know, being physically fit, uh, mental, and so forth, but what is really out there for men to find. So let's go ahead and jump into the video to see what up. Thoughts of passport bros. Is this the better option for men today wanting quality women? What's that? Well, I don't understand the question. Okay, so pa passport bros, is that what he said? Yeah. So what it typically means as, you know, you hear this a lot in the red pill community. It's like, all modern women suck in the West. I'm going to go to you. Indonesia or I'm going to go to Brazil. I'm going to go to Colombia. just basically saying i'm too much of a bitch of a man and i'm gonna fucking bitch out of my country and just to let you niggas know we don't need y'all we want y'all but we don't need and i'm gonna go get pussy elsewhere because i'm a pussy and i'm not man enough to stay and fight and do what's right and be a man and be a fucking leader i know when to be submissive when i need to be submissive let me ask you a question hold on stop i had to tell you to shut up right mm -hmm. how about this let's go into a dream world right let's say me and you're walking down the street and some guy robs your purse and runs away and he punches you in the process and i just stand there looking at what's going on and then you have to scream at me to say go get him and then i think about it and then i go get him what's more attractive you screaming at me to go do my job or i just react and punch him and get your bag back for you if you're a man you're gonna do it regardless thank you if you're a lady you're gonna shut up regardless it means you're a fucking coward that's what it really means but you can definitely get laid and have a good time and rock out with your cock out but you know what women are the same wherever you go there are good women out there they're good to you good for you good for your soul and there's some ratchet ass chicks how much do you expect your future husband to earn to provide a comfortable life here in the philippines I think around, <laughs> around like. Don't be shy. Spill it out. <laughs> Thirty to fifty k char. Thirty to fifty thousand pesos. Okay, so that's about you know maximum of a thousand dollars per month. You think that would be enough for you to have a comfortable life here with kids as well? Yes. What would you want his income to be? I think for me to be comfortable like staying at home and not working i feel like this is gonna sound bad i feel like like 300,000, anywhere from 70 to 100k i would have to say 127 five hundred thousand dollars <laughs> quick question what's the minimum amount of money a man needs to make today to you oh my god so there uh, i don't know how easy we ain't got much time oh you need to make a hundred at least 150,000. okay you make 150,000? yes yep okay what about you 
Uh, I run the same route. Hundred, you make hundred fifty? No, I don't. Oh. I'm we gonna about come 70. Back we gonna I'm making about 70, but you got to make 100. Okay, okay. What about you? I'm with the over 150. And you make 150? I make, no, I don't. Okay. And the problem you have, especially in the red pill community, is you got a lot of loser dudes that have dated a lot of ratchet chicks in there because they're not really a good quality person. And so if you're not a good quality person and your values suck and you don't have any integrity, you're going to tend to attract people like a track's leg, that's just science. A male approached me in a parking lot. He's excuse me, miss, and I don't know why in the hell he was approaching me or what he was trying to do. And before he, I mean, he was probably 30 feet from me when he said, excuse me, ma'am. And I turned around and I literally yelled at him and I said, do not approach me. So if you're kind of weak, then that is definitely the thing for you but if you're a man and you're like a real man american man these niggas are lame yo like the men that are like actually amazing entrepreneurs and educated and financially you know lit y'all lame like for real what is your deepest darkest secret well one time you know i was getting out of the club i had some drinks in me and i slept with a homeless man bro you slept with a homeless man bro yeah, that brother's starving. That's crazy. Oh, yo, hey, yo. <laughs> you're going to be fit. You're going to be in shape. You're going to be wise. You're going to study self-help. You're going to be self-reliance focused. You're going to be competent yeah. and safe with pistol and rifle and be able to transition back and forth between that and CQB or CQC as it's also known because as an American, it is your job to be armed, safe, and competent with firearms because you are part of the militia of the people. Whether you like it or not, part of your duty as a citizen, as the founding father said, was who are the militia? The militia are, in fact, the people themselves and include all men Three. capable of bearing arms. Okay, wonderful. Do. Okay. Maybe you train in jiu-jitsu or something else like that. You want to be dangerous but kind. That's what you want to do. Don't fucking bitch out on your country. In relationship. And I only want to no deal with guys that's paying bills. I am a gold digger. I don't care. Like I'm already doing 100% perfectly by fine by myself. Exactly. So if you want to come into my life and get my time and get my effort, mm -hmm. my energy, you need to be offering something. Yeah. And honestly, I feel like every guy cheats. I've been cheated on and I was paying for everything in the relationship. In order for you to touch this, I'm going to need some money. For you to get my number, I'm going to need some money. <laughs> okay. Here's the reality of it. It's better that you charge him for it as opposed to giving it away under some idea of love. Send him your cash app. It is a duty of the patriot mm. to protect his country from his government. Would you date a bus driver? You. Would you date if a bus If he owns driver? the bus. If he owns no. it. If he owns the bus. See, that's a problem. That's a problem. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. To love. To love. Cherish. Cherish. And to obey. <laughs> we didn't talk about that one in council. We did talk about that in council. Yes, we did. So you want me to repeat that again? You want to just keep going? I think we can keep going. All right. <laughs> So I tell you, so of course these dating dating coaches, they have a lot to say. It's funny how he kind of grouped all the women together saying that they are all the same. No, there are a lot of differences, especially when it comes down to culture. If you had a chance to travel, you would know that women in different culture act a different way. Although they are women, although they may be emotional, but they will respect you more as a man, depending on what culture, what location they are at. So with, that, with him saying that, that is false. And the other thing is that <clears throat> you see a lot of the women, especially in this generation, you see a lot of the stuff that they're saying. A lot of them are gold diggers. They want money. They don't care about anything else. They just want money and they want to do less work. They don't even want to be wife material. They just want to sit at home and do nothing. So <clears throat> you're going to be the best version of yourself just for these women that don't even qualify for you for after you level it up. So why would you want to waste your time here in the States? 
Basically, he wants you to be looking for a needle in the haystack. But when you leave, when you leave the United States, you can find a bunch of needles haystacks. So you don't have to be searching around for that one needle. So that's why I'm like, a lot of times I always find it funny when these dating coaches have a lot to say. And the funny thing is they never have any smoke for the past four sis. You guys have seen that I've released several videos within the past month about the past poor sis, about situations that has arise with them, how some act have actually lost their life. And it's funny that they will only focus on the men saying how we bitch out, how we're pussy for leaving the United States because the fact that we choose to live our life in a better situation because we have one life to live. Why waste your time trying to search for that woman when you can easily go somewhere else and find what you're looking for? That's the way I look at it. So once again, looking at the dating coaches, they always catching L's because the fact is what they're preaching to men never worked. So but this is your boy, the Solo Traveler ORD. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'm out.